there we go. Now I should in theory be able to hear myself right. There we yeah, go. I can hear myself now. So I'm going to turn off the audio on my phone. Yeah, I can hear myself now. So I'm going to... Oh, it's looping, but let me check why. This is a little trick so that I can actually see the comments when I'm doing this. So let me turn my phone to silent, hopefully. There you go. I shouldn't be able to hear myself. But I, I can see the chat now, which is, which is something I, I never used to do before. Uh, to be honest, so let me see if I can uh, sort of try and show you what I was uh, trying to show before. So let me see why you can't actually see my main screen, which I thought I was sharing. I guess. If it says to do full screen, but oh, I'm already in search mode. Give me a sec. Does that make a difference? Not really. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Let me see if I can show you my screen here. Can you actually see my screen? Is the thing now? I think I shared the wrong source, didn't I? Let's try that again. Stop screen share for a second there. And I'm going to just uh, share my entire screen again. And hopefully this time, you should, in theory, be able to see uh, the screen that I'm going to be working on. There we are. I can see it on my, um, on my phone, so you guys are good. It's OK. The idea behind this video is that because those of people have been asking me, right, what's my onboarding process, if that makes sense? And the answer to that is I don't have one officially in the sense that my, my clients now are sort of clients that come from, how do I say this, referrals. So it's, you know, word of mouth kind of thing. But I do want to show you why I expect my clients to give me feedback so that we can finish the design quickly. I'm going to use a site um, just to show you how the feedback tool works. The tool is called Atarum or Atarum, depending on who you are, I guess. And I might not even be saying it right because it's a Hebrew word that means websites. Anyway. It's my way of getting feedback from my clients. And I don't really check email when I'm working with clients because I don't have to. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so if I were doing my usual work day, right, I'd log into my dashboard. OK, ignore this. I'm just showing you why I use the system. So. Um, I usually tell my clients to send me emails to a specific email, which I'm not going to disclose, but I guess you can figure out if you look carefully. Um, there's a feature in Atterum called Inbox. So the Inbox, you'll see probably see some spam similar emails usually. So if somebody doesn't want to adhere to my process and they send me an email or they are just constantly sending me emails, right? I just um, I just tell them to send to the specific email, which will automatically bring it into the system either way, right? Now, why do I need the system? I'll show you because obviously I have many many websites that I work on, and each client remind or says that they need something, and I have to remember that. So either I have loads of emails that I have to check every day, or I have this. So let's get to the point of the video, which is 
showing people how to use a term based on the fact that they're starting to work with me. So what they expect. Most of the people that need a website can at least, at the very least, even if they don't know anything, use Facebook. So I send them and I'll show you what I mean. So I send, this is usually what you get when you work with me and your site is under development. Um, some clients, the client that I'm going to use today um, doesn't have this because she wanted her logo to be there and a contact us button so that they can contact her while we're building. The site that I'm showing, I haven't touched yet, so I'm, I haven't built anything yet. I haven't added content or got content from the client as of yet. But I sent her the WordPress admin link and her login info. I'm going to log in as the client currently just to show you um, how to add um, comments about what's going to happen, right? So um, my username is Superman. There is a funny story behind that. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to log in as the client and I'll show you what happens. You as my client are taken to the WordPress dashboard and depending on the role I've assigned you, you may or may need, may not see some of these things. Currently, this client is an admin. I don't mind because she's not actually going to essentially fiddle with the site yet. I can assign roles and fix things later when I, when I hand it over to her. For now, the only thing I need her to do currently is to give me content. So this is what my client would do. She would ignore everything. She would go to the top left. She would click visit site. And let's assume I've designed the site. In this case, I haven't yet, but there is a theme running that the client likes. So let's say I haven't got any info yet from her. Let's say that she wants to tell me that I should change this phone number, whatever this is, to something that she knows. So what she would do, she's logged in as herself right now. She would click this little plus sign. She would use the mouse to hover over whatever she's trying to explain to me, which in this case is this number, right? It automatically pops up a box and she'll, she'll give me a comment. So she'll say, George, the phone number is... is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. And the system already knows because I'm the web developer or webmaster, as the system calls me, it already knows to notify Superman about the request the client has. I'll get an email, I'll get it in my dashboard, and I'll know that the client wants something. Now, what does the client have to do if they want to tell me to change a photo? So. For example, this photo is of the theme. The client, in this case, want, would want, most likely, for me to change this photo, which is very logical. Again, click the plus sign, hover over this photo, make sure it's red, as you can see, and then I just click. And she would say something like, change the photo to the attached one and now you're saying to yourself okay which photo is the attached one well you have to actually attach it so you click this little attach button here i am just gonna oh that was actually from another project so i'll go and steal a photo from somewhere let's go to my pictures and i'll steal a rock from cyprus i don't know where this rock is from but it's a rock somewhere in cyprus okay so I try to upload and stupidly, um, it says that I have to actually leave the comment first, which is logical because I should say what I want first. Then obviously, as soon as the comment is left, I can then attach the photo that I was trying to attach before. Um, Atarium will do some magic with the photo, but to be honest, as the developer now, um i can log out let's assume that i have now seen the notification which i get in my email and i've, I've logged out as a client because the client went home now george has to take over and do his thing so i'm logging as george now as myself 
<clears throat> and what I get is I can then uh, check my tasks. I can either go to the website and try and find them. Or I can just check the system and it will tell me exactly on which page the um, task was left. But because I already know, obviously, I can just open the taskbar and I can check the tasks that are there. And it says change this and it will take me to the task. In this case, showing me that I have to change the picture, which is this task here, I guess. Right? It's being a bit slow. But there's a reason for that. I'm not going to mention the hosting the client's currently using. Um, I'm assuming, though, that it's probably because of caching. I will do optimization after I design the site, but that's not really an issue that I care about right now. So here's the photo. And actually, as the developer, I could, if I wanted to, push this to Media Library, which basically just means it will put it in the Media Library for me. By the way, I'm going to go to the media library right now. And I actually logged in. Oh, no, I am logged in as a client. Sorry, I saw her I saw her name here, and I thought I was logged in. But that's what the site's called. I keep forgetting. So because I don't really need the file, I'm just going to go and delete it off the, off the media library, because it's just a proof of concept kind of thing, just to show the client how to give me information. Hey, Karipos, I can see the comments now because I have my phone next to me. So you're welcome to write now. <laughs> it's, um, I'm just showing a client. And I'm basically making this for all my future clients. So I don't have to re-explain things on how to use a term, which is my tool of choice for people leaving me feedback. I don't know if you caught the beginning of this, but I'm actually all, almost done. I'm not going to stay here long. But anyway, let's assume that for some reason, the client wants to tell me something uh, general that doesn't have an element to point. So there's no, you know, there's no text where she's trying to tell me, um, you know, change this photo, do X or do Y. And she wants to leave me a general task that refers to something that doesn't have an element. So I'm going to click general now. I could do this on the homepage or anywhere else, and I could just say, look, um, George, please remember. Oh, I am actually logged in as George, aren't I? I should log in as a client for this. So let me log in as the client right now. <clears throat> just to um, show you again that as the client, you should leave me feedback based on things that you want. When it's a general task, so there's no page related to this, there's no photo that you want me to change or no text that you want me to change, well, then uh, what you should do as a client is just give me a general task and say, I obviously don't expect my client to put in this task, but because I need it for myself, I'm just going to stick it here. Um, remember to... Uh, uh, I'm I miss spelling, but ignore me. You can write Greek here if you if you're more into Greek, because um, not all my my clients are um, English speaking, but uh, this one is specifically, which was also a good reason to use her and example to make a video for all my clients. So, let's say that my client's smart enough to tell me that I should do. Uh, Google Analytics, SEO stuff. So she says, remember to add the site to Google Analytics. Um, analytics and do the basic on page horrible, horrible typing skills here. But it is what it is on page SEO, right? Uh, my client actually, I'm, I'm guessing, wouldn't know what this means. But but, but because I need to do it anyway, I'm just going to, um, when we go live. So uh, this is a general task. It doesn't have an element to refer to. And actually, 
although it doesn't really, you can't really see it because of the themes color scheme. Um, it says here, this is a general task meant to be for a request that doesn't have an element, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to read this out, but um, they should be, uh, you can tell that it's a general task and it's nothing specific. Now, what I what I enjoy doing with clients, right? So if if, for example, they want me to change text, right? So if they want me to change something specific, like, um, oh, ignore my notifications. I'm sorry about that. So if um, the client wanted me to change text, I don't expect the client to send me a Word document with text in it because I'm going to have to ask, where do you want me to put that text, which is uh, one of those things I don't want to do. That's why I have tools. So let's assume she wants me to change this text. So she's pointing to the text, becomes red, she's left clicking the mouse, just like you do on Word or on Facebook, and then she starts typing. The text here should be, should be, whatever. She can put it in quotes or not. I don't, and then she can write whatever she wants. I obviously understand that I don't need to put the quotes in there. She doesn't need to upload a Word document. She doesn't need to do anything. If it has some kind of formatting, then maybe she can upload a Word document, but like for, for, for tech stuff, because the theme has formatting, um, she can just do that. Or you can just do that, depending if you are the person watching this video later on working with me. Um, I might do a Greek version of this, but for now, it's not really a necessity. Uh, if I do need to do a Greek version of this, I will. I actually helped them translate the Greek version of the tool. But um, so I probably should do a Greek version, but for now I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to leave this comment actually, because I don't really need to. But that's basically how a client gives me feedback, and I don't have to stress about uh, what she was thinking or what he was thinking, depending. Right. The good thing about this tool, right, and why I really like to use it is when you click on it. It remembers my comment because I didn't refresh the page. But when you click on it, there's there's icons. First of all, you can, if you have multiple team members, you can tell people, you, you can, you know, you can notify somebody. So you can notify the client subtly and say, you know what, I'm waiting for a photo here. That's why this page isn't done yet. After like <laughs> if three days pass or 10 days pass and, and they haven't uploaded what you expected. You can define how important this is because in Atom you can go and check which tasks are critical. I'll do the critical ones today and I'll do the low priority ones another day or whatever. Um, here I can set the state of the task. Currently it's open. If I start, I can set a um, task in progress. That would mean that the client would get an email saying, George has currently set the task blah, 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 blah to in progress, which means that she knows I'm working on it. If I set it to pending, she'll get an email saying the task has been set to pending, blah, blah, blah. And she might come back and ask me, why is this pending? Is something missing if I'm lucky? Uh, if I'm unlucky, well then, <clears throat> uh, it's just gonna be one of those things where, uh, did I, did I close the, no, I didn't. That's fine. I just can't see the comments, which is weird. But anyway, let me see if I can see the comments if I, if I do this. Anyway, I don't think anyone is literally watching other than Karipos, who was watching before. Um, but I click, I press something on my phone, and now I can't see the comments anymore, which is funny. Let me see if I can do something about that. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, let me go back, go back. This should do it. Oh, there it is. I can see them now. Anyway, so basically, yeah. I like, for example, I know what the email here should be. She, she doesn't have to tell me, but if she's actually inspecting the website, the client, right? I expect that if I made some kind of weird mistake, I don't have to go through my email 
to get the address. She can just literally, she can just click here and say, the address is actually blah, blah, blah. And even if she can't specifically specify the address, if that box is selected, then she could tell me all the content that's required in this box, phone numbers, emails, whatnot, right? I already know the email, because obviously, but I don't know the address, for example, or at least I don't remember it off the top of my head right now. Generally speaking, that is how Atom works. And when we work together, whoever may be watching this video in the future or uh, even now, I expect, and the reason I do this isn't because I want to scare people, but I also want to get them off email. I don't need to need, um, read a, a chain of 100 emails because you forgot to type something and you sent me seven emails regarding the same issue. And honestly, with email chains, you can get lost. And the, the, the weirdest thing about this is when the client's explaining something, they automatically think, I know what they're talking about. With this tool, I don't have to guess. I don't have to ask them, what screen resolution were you on? Because if you look carefully, when the person adds the task, you click on this information block and it's telling you both my screen resolution, the browser the person was using, who left the comment and so on. The ID is not that important right now, but mostly for me, it's this and this, like the browser and the, the resolution. I don't have to ask, were you on your iPhone? Because even if she leaves a comment while looking at it on an iPhone, I'll get the screen resolution or the browsers. I'll know, oh, it's an issue in Safari. It's an issue in Chrome. It's an issue in Firefox or something. You know, I don't have to ask the usual developer like questions I ask my clients as in, what screen were you on? Are you sure you don't have your screen at 150% instead of 100? The usual question, stuff like that. So um, I decided to do this video because I'm going to, have to um, show the client how to use this tool anyway. She already has her logins. She knows how to use WordPress. It's not her first time, but I wanted to show her at her room and I wanted the video to be on my channel archive wise so that I can show other clients, regardless of the website they're using, that if we work together, at her room is going to be on there and uh, it's your way of getting in touch with me. I've actually put it on clients' websites and they use it as a communication tool internally to talk amongst themselves for other things that don't necessarily involve me. And they already know that they can tag themselves and not tag me. So it's it's a very helpful tool. Um, I'm just going to go and delete these tasks because they are going to confuse the client when she finds them in there. I will... Go to the dashboard for a second. Oh, I'm an, I'm actually, oh, she's an admin, but I don't think she can do things with my tasks. I need to log out. I'll show you another cool thing Atrium uses, which is internal tasks, which is quite fun. Oh, you saw the admin username there? I suggest never use admin on your website. If I have to explain why, then I need to make a video on that. Uh, user enumeration, stuff like that. So as George now, I am fully logged in as myself. Yes, I am. Uh, let me go and remove the tasks that I don't need. So I can go to task center right inside the website instead of going to my dashboard. I'm just gonna delete the tasks that are relevant and I'm just gonna keep the one that I want. So the one that I don't want is this. So just delete this for me. Yep, and another one that I don't want is this one. I'm delete this as well. Now, the analytics one I do want, but the client doesn't necessarily need to see it. I can, if I remember correctly, I don't know why I can't see it now. I can probably switch this task to an internal task. I should be able to do that. But for some reason, I cannot see the internal task button. Let me see. They probably changed the place of it. Now I can't find it. That's so funny. Um, let me see if I can 
change the toss type here somewhere. Um, there used to be a button that could switch this to an internal task. And that would then, not that the client see it, but um, I could see it. I can't find it now. They may have removed it. I use this so often that they change things and I keep forgetting to come check what has changed. But um, the internal tasks don't seem to exist here. Maybe I didn't set it up. But there is a way in a term to make this task internal, which means I can see it and presumably my agency team can, but the client can't. For the time being, I don't really care. This is for me anyway. The client's not going to do anything with this. Um, so I can just leave it there. But that's basically why I use a term and why I would want a client to use it. And I just thought I should make this shortish video of how to actually use the tool to leave me feedback, upload images maybe. Let me check the media library. Did I delete that image that I don't want? I'm curious now. I probably didn't. I should probably delete the image that I don't want. Come on. Come on. Try not to reference the hosting name here. but Ah, yes, I did, it seems like. No stones here. The rest of it's all just the theme stuff. So that's it for today. Nothing special. Just a short little video on how to use um, Atherum to leave me feedback. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, if you want videos on specific things about specific tools in WordPress that I may or may not use, you're welcome to ask. I might use the tool and be able to make a video to help you with something. So feel free to drop me a comment and maybe request a specific video. If I use that tool and I have it at my disposal or I can get it somewhere uh, to show you something, I guess you're welcome to drop me a comment. That's it, guys. Talk to you soon.